What's going on YouTube? Minecraft to go here. Today I bring you episode 3 of how to create a website or how to make a website and today we'll be going over uh, some dividers and making a table. So let's get started. So I think we'll start with making a table since it has something to do with dividers. So let's just get a new line here and the first in the brackets we're going to have table space border equals and now this is like well, we'll just do one for now. I'll show you what it does later. All right, new line, tab. Well, you don't have to do the tab. It just organizes it more. And now TR. This stands for table row. Uh, this stands for table row. I don't know why my voice went up there. I'm pretty sure it wasn't puberty. I think I was inclining to something and I just failed. All right, the next row is going to be TH, which stands for table header. And I'm just going to put H1 here. And then I'm going to do a slash. Uh, slash and then th because whatever you start you have to end and I'm just going to do the same for here oops all right now after that go back and do a slash tr because now we're ending the table row enter now we're going to do another table row and this is what we um the eh, first but let's end our table and this is uh I'll make I'll zoom in. This is what we have so far. Uh table one or a header one and header two. Alright, and now we're gonna start the second row. With that that TR well, well we already started started it, but now we're actually gonna put stuff in it. Now we are gonna do T D, which stands for table cell. I'm not sure why they don't do T C but it's probably another tag. And it's gonna put item one slash T D td item2 slash td and then end your table row save it and now this is what it should look like zoom in here again and notice how this one's thicker that's because we did table a uh, header and that's basically like your header like your h1 through h6 and yeah so again if we want just to center that put one there and then we put one right here and now it's in the center All right, uh, I'll show you what this does now if we increase this to three the border gets thicker now let's actually increase this to 20 that's pretty unreasonable uh, but you can see it has two, uh, some color differentiates just if you want to know that but now now on to dividers Divider is like if you notice. Well, actually, I'll go on YouTube so I can show you. Well, I think Apple will be, will be good enough. You notice how they kind of have uh, these sections. They have this right here would be a divider. One, two, three. There, here's four dividers. Uh, here's one, or maybe this could be one, but I think that's another one. Here's one right here. Here's one right there. One right there, and one right there. A divider does. Um, just let me <coughs> show you. I I think on my website minecraftgo.com it's a little more obvious where you can see it. So right here, this is a one divider, this is two dividers, and this is three dividers. A divider does it just like divides a section so it can be a little more organized, and you can have like one right here, one right here, and so on and so on. Um, here's another good example. I this image will not appear, but I just inserted inserted that, and yeah, and. So um, if you need, if you want to go back and find all the tutorials, you can go to this website and then to um, to minecraftgo.com. This website, uh, the website tab, and all the tutorials are right here. Hmm. Why are those not? That's that's weird. Those should be a different color, but whatever. The first thing we need to do is when making divider is actually get some content we want for divider. So I'm just going to delete this table. Alright, and uh, let's see, I'll just put it right here. This seems good. And so I'll, I'm just going to do a like, quick section. P. This is some awesome text, comma, man, slash P. Uh, let's do B for bold. That's pretty cool, dude. And slash P, or er, B. And I'll make this big so uh, y'all can see this. Let's see. Uh, copy and 
paste this in. Apple V, Apple V. So now if we preview it, uh, it's an, I don't it's not centered, but you get it. Alright, so now we will go into our style sheet dot CSS and I'm gonna clean clean this up a little bit. And now we're gonna create a class file. I'm just gonna call it div main. Now when I when I make divs, I just put div in the front so I know what it is. So we're just gonna call it div main one uh just div main one curly brackets and dot div main two. Oops. There we go. And now let's say um we want the width. Oops, that's not it. We'll say we want the width of um div main one to be let's make this uh two hundred. Two hundred pixels. And I'm gonna remove the width on this. <clears throat> and I'll make the background black. So now if we preview this, all this is black and so yeah. And now uh with that height. Now um I usually do uh auto, but if you do auto you don't have to enter this, but in case I want to change it, I just do this. You can set it to whatever you want, but auto is probably the best. Color, this is your text color. Let's make it uh blue, I guess. Background this is your background color. Let's just make it white. It contrasts with the black. I, um, yeah. Save it. And now we'll do border. Uh, you can. This can range from one, zero pixels to like a million. So, but or I like to do for my outer. Like I'll have I'll have a div containing everything. Which and div is short for divider. If I have not mentioned that. So and I'll have that like at 10 pixels. That's just what I like. But and for the inside ones, I like using two pixels. Border two pixels. Two pixels black. Now you can have solid, uh, dotted, or dashed, like that. But I'm just gonna do solid. So now if we preview it, there's nothing there because we it's a class file, so we have to add it. Class equals this. Now, if we want to add multiple class files, you don't. You're not going to copy and paste this and change this to um, div main one. You're, we're just going to do just do a space div main one. That's why we do not put spaces in our what should we call it divs. Now, if you preview it, it kind of spills out. That's because the text is so large. Now, if I shorten that, uh, it was just probably be here. So. Let me get rid of this large text. See, and it's like that. Control, uh, Apple Z, save, preview, and it's back to that. Now we gotta give it, uh, div main two. Save that. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. If I'm gonna change some colors on it, color will make this white and this blue and this red so now if we preview it it goes below but let's say uh, that we want this to like come to the left of this or yeah that's pretty simple uh, what you can do is float uh, can I scroll down here alright I'll get some float colons you can do right left I think you can do up and down so now if you preview it it's floating all the way to the right now if we had a containing div um, it, it would be I think this would be right here um, <clears throat> and now let's make this float to the left see now they are on the same and it's I think this one's just a this one's a little higher. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I am so stupid. I'm sorry. You don't put there. You do a the div the div tag, and then you do the class equals div main one, and then you end it slash div. I am so sorry about that. 
div class equals div main two slash div clean this up a little bit and let's see oh ball that's not good <laughs> oh yep the um, now we need to make this fl uh float right apple s save preview no oh. div main one what what I do wrong hmm we're solving this together there it is right there so now they're on the same and they're floating to the right uh so um i'll be i think this will be it for this tutorial i mean i'm sorry for that mistake again that was my fault but just completely oh there's another one god it's like mistake haven over here so just ignore what um you heard before about putting that div thing in the class file for the text but it is true say so i want to also give this attribute like uh, large text i mean uh, I it, it won't appear anything for the div because it's either large text but you know what i mean so thanks for watching youtube again if you you can go to my um website minecraftgo.com and then the website tab and all the tutorials will be there so thanks for watching